James is in Durham. James, what would you like to say? I'm I'm delighted that he's he's back. If I'm honest, um, I think it, it gives people another option because, quite frankly, um, looking at Keir Starmer and uh, Rishi Sunak, I wouldn't really fancy voting for either of them. Well, you, you I mean, you don't live in Clacton, so you've already had a option in your constituency to vote for reform. Correct, yes, but it wasn't with Nigel at the at the helm. Um, I think. So, what does that change? Do you think? I suppose he gives a bit of the the Boris factor. I wasn't a fan of Boris at sort of then the. Why late would you stages. want the Why would you want the Boris factor then? Because he, he's back in Britain. Who is? Nigel. How? Nigel. He, he's putting the British values there first. And so can you talk? I, I love that phrase. I like it a lot, actually, James. Can we go through what you think they are? Yeah, so if I go on holiday to Dubai... No, I, I want British values, not not no, not, no, not theoretical no, holidays. That. So what but are no, British no, values? No, this is what I'm about to say. Go Can on. you let me finish? Of course. If I go to Dubai, I respect Muslim laws. I will, I will, I will fully respect it. I don't, you don't drink in public. You're not allowed to walk around with your top off if you go through the hotel lobby. But I find it funny that you're getting a lot of people that are coming over here right. who don't want to follow... The British values of respect, um, looking after y- y- the society, looking after your home. Um, they're coming across and wanting to change our rules so for and, example, and how we live. Well, I, th- I think Nigel's pretty... Of which up. rules? Well, who, go, give me an example of a real person trying to change a real rule. Well, you, um, you look at Sadiq Khan. Um, he's, he's implementing a lot of rules that... Um, a lot of his Muslim voters are wanting. Like what? Um, the one in sh- Sharia law. Sorry, Sadiq Khan has introduced Sharia law? No, he he, he would back Sharia law. He, um, where, do you get, where do you get that f- claim from, mate? He, he's, he said it. You think Sadiq Khan has said that he, he wants to introduce Sharia law? He he would back it. Okay, he, what he, do you think... If that was on the table. What do you think Sharia law is? <laughs> I'm not, not going to get into that. You, you know what Sharia law is. Well, I know that on things like m- m- divorces and uh, domestic disputes, some people are happy to have a, their cleric, if you like, sit in a in a form of adjudication. But that that can't be what you're objecting to. So, what is it you think Sadiq Khan has publicly backed that you're troubled by? No, I'm, I'm saying that Sadiq Khan would back Sharia law. Yes, but what do you mean by the phrase, in, in that context, what do you mean by the phrase Sharia law? Because if you're saying that he would back something, I don't know, like chopping people's arms off for, sh- for shoplifting, then um, you'd have to be able to provide some evidence, wouldn't you? But you OK, well, we'll go back a stage. So no, let's, let's just pick off, let's just deal with one bit of the conversation at a time. The claim that Sadiq Khan... I mean, all you've talked about is Muslim. So when you say British values... Yes. You don't mean freedom of religion. No, no. anyone can... You don't mean freedom freedom of of worship. You don't mean freedom of of expression. Absolutely fine. And you don't don't mean democracy, because Sadiq Khan, of course, is the elected mayor of London. Three times. Which... which So what are the British values... Very odd in my opinion. Well, of course it's odd in your opinion, because your opinions are based on on falsehoods and misunderstandings. For example, Sadiq Khan supports Sharia law. So let's just pick up on where that idea took yep. seed in your mind or your memory so Sadiq Khan is a Muslim yes so of course he would want Sharia law because it acts as a code for living that all Muslims should adhere to oh, I see. Including so you've got that, so, so there is absolutely no recorded evidence of Sadiq Khan saying what you're saying well no he, he has but said, this is what all Muslims believe yes but why right. what this is a Christian country but that's freedom so of religion be, then but it's not. You can have the right to prayer, but why? Why should we introduce a law? But no that one is, is introducing that. This, this into, is this is the, the th- this is the thing that you're going to have to, I guess, either stop saying this or pro- provide some proof. I, I have. I, if you want to, I, I can. If I had the time, I'd find the clip of the. Take all the time you want. I'll, I'll send that clip in. No, no, but stay on the. Don't go now. Don't just tell me when it was, what he said, what, 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 and what you think he meant by Sharia law, and what it is you're scared of. I'm not. I'm not. I'm scared at the fact that we are talking about introducing a Muslim law. No, but no, to a, no, no, a no, no. J- James, country. only you are talking about that. 
No, I, I, I mentioned I've, it. I have Sadiq Khan on this programme every month for the last God knows how many years, and he's never once mentioned this. You've been on for two minutes, and you can't shut up about it. So where on earth are you getting so you're this the evidence You're the one who's from? spinning this now. Mate, everyone, I, said... I just need to warn you that everyone can hear you. Absolutely. Right. So where is your proof, or where did you get the idea that... I mean, it's supposed to be a conversation about Nigel Farage representing yes, British values. And that's, yes, and that's what I was getting on to. So when you're asking me about... Well, no, we can't, values, get on, we can't get on to that yet, because we just need to establish when and where Sadiq Khan spoke out. I mean, he's been mayor of London for years. Why hasn't he introduced it? Because I, I imagine he would have very great troubles introducing it. Well, that would be one answer to the question. The more obvious one is that he's got absolutely no desire to do so whatsoever, which is the point at which you prove to me that he does. It, it was a post that was going around social media, oh, which, had, which, which had a quote alongside of Sadiq Khan saying that um, he, he, well, he, he quoted that they are trialling um, the law in mm. three of London's boroughs right now. Yeah, and, and they'll what, roll what, out in the remaining thirty what, years. What research did you do into that social media post? It was it was on it was on the Daily Mail. No, but what what checks did you do on it? <laughs> well, how how can you check something when? Right, do you want me to it, show it, you? It, do you want yeah, me to? you okay. You go go ahead. Okay, so you. I'm going to ask you a question, which I promise you isn't patronising, but do you, on. do you know what Reuters is? Yes, I do. Okay. So an internationally respected news organisation. Yep. So while you've been... I've never heard this claim about Sadiq Khan before. I, I'm 99.999% confident that it's complete rollocks, right? Go and, on, yeah. and the only time I ever hear things like this is when people tell me that Nigel Farage defends British values and I push them for some which proof. He does. I which push he does. For, the, for, for some proof or some evidence or some explanation. And you tell me that, for example, Sadiq Khan, I don't know what this has got to do with Nigel Farage, but well, you, no, I, you, you, I, no I hang on, because we're just, I'm just teaching you, how, I'm just teaching yeah. you how to do fact checks. All right. So you tell me that the mayor of London s wants Sharia law to be imposed in London, and you and you mention a social media um, meme or, 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 or quote, and I can find in while talking to you, I haven't. This isn't the BBC. I've done it all myself while talking to you. In fact, people watching on YouTube will be able to watch the process of me just simply googling a few of the words you've said in this conversation. And up pops Reuters from July the 1st, 2020, saying, fact check, the mayor of London did not say Sharia law is being imposed in London. Let me read some of it to you. Social media users are sharing a quote attributed to the mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, implying that Sharia law is being implemented in London. This claim is false. The mayor of London's press office has confirmed that the quote, which misspells Sharia, is fabricated. Posts shown alongside posts showing the quote alongside a picture of Khan have hundreds of shares on Facebook, including you, I imagine, right? The quote yep. attributed to Khan reads, we are trialling Shakira law in three of London's boroughs right now. We will then roll it out in the remaining 30 next year. Um, Correct. I mean, it's, it's illiterate, James. What? So, so and, you're and, that and it's, that was and, to be wrong. And it's false. Okay, well, I'll, I'll do what politicians can't do and accept that. <laughs> but look how much you've built on it. But equally, that does, still doesn't change my opinion of that when you're asking me about the British values, there yes. still is a lot of talk about Sharia law. Right. Well, there's a lot of talk about, oh, I don't know, anti-vax rhetoric. Correct. There's a lot of talk about lots of things. That's freedom of speech, isn't it? It, it is freedom of speech. But you're and not I... opposed to freedom of speech because you're in favour of British values. Absolutely. But just but, not all speech free, should free... be free. No, but... No, there's a difference. Freedom of speech seems to be one-sided, very one-sided. Okay, so I mean, who doesn't, the media have, who doesn't have freedom of speech then? I'd probably say the 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 white working class man. What do you want to say that you can't say? You can say I, it to me. I promise. I'll protect well, you. Okay, okay, but what I'm saying is, how do you know that I'm I'm white? You've just assumed that there. Okay, <laughs> are you? I, I am. Yes. Okay. But you, well, you let, let's, car let's carry right. on then. What's the <laughs> thing you can't say? That that you you wish you could. No, I, what what I'm saying is, when you on about 
British values. No, that was you. I'm, I, I'm just I'm waiting for you to tell me what they are. I'm not going on about them. No, but you're, you're, you were asking me, and then you're saying in terms of um, how, how it's not sort of getting out there and freedom of speech. But how come, and it's like, I'm not a Tommy, Tommy Robinson fan, yeah. but the media was reporting why aren't that there's only... Why, why aren't you a Tommy Robinson fan? I, I mean, I, I, I agree with some of his points, but the way that he goes about it, it probably doesn't help. What points help do you agree cause. with? That we're losing societies, but we've just we're, we've just established that your main reason for being fearful of Islam is completely false. I never said that was my main concern. What's your main concern then? My, my main concern is that we, as as working class British citizens, are losing a lot of our lots of um, working class British citizens are Muslim. And I haven't said anything against that. You're spinning words. I'm not. I'm just, like I'm, just, I'm just saying. How can that. how can you be talking about Muslims and I, I, and I working class it, British people as, I, if, as if as if they're different second. as if they're I, different. I, I'm not. Right. So what what is the stuff you agree with Tommy Robinson about then? And and I, I do want you to say the stuff you feel that white working class people aren't allowed to say. What sort of thing are we are we talking about here? So so I'll go back to earlier what you were saying about the boats coming across and what no, 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 has been spent. No, I want and, and you I, to tell me what so you think you I can't tell, say. I'm, lead, I'm leading on to that, if you'd let me let me finish. So, it's 11.33. I, 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 I do want to talk to you for a bit longer, but just just move on to it as quickly as you can, James. No, absolutely. So, Thank you. Um, Tommy Robinson, he's obviously up there agreeing that we're allowing too many illegal immigrants into the country. We're allowing an army of men to come across. Right. There's no and who's not a, and who's not allowed to say that then? But people people get branded different things if you say that. The, 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 you're always going to get branded something. I get branded lefty, loony, liberal. I mean, I think they showed a picture of me at Tommy Robinson's rally and encouraged everybody to boo. If you say stuff in public, James, then people say stuff back to you. But you were telling no, me about absolutely. the things you were telling me about the things that you're not allowed to say. You weren't telling me about being branded yeah, you, or. You're not allowed to say that we're having too many people come across. But you just no did. Wants... Yeah, exactly. The so team... how, how can you not be allowed to say the thing that you just said? Because then you're shamed for it, saying, oh, well, we need to help them out. Mate, no, the Conservative at... Party, the Labour Party and the Reform Party are all saying that there are too many people coming into this country from overseas. So what is it that but, you feel... But the, that... conserva the Conservatives and Labour won't do anything about it. No, but we're talking it's about the... them not being allowed to say it. I just want to get to the bottom. In the same way your claim about Sadiq Khan and Sharia law, we got to the bottom of that, didn't we? We did. And, so, uh, and it was complete uh, crap, wasn't it? Well, yes. So now let's try, to get, let's try now to get to the bottom of the idea that you're not allowed to say there are too many people coming here. Because you have the left media who are saying, but well, we need to welcome them in. Yeah, but we that, that's freedom of speech as well. So you're allowed to say there's too many, and other people are allowed to say, no, there's not. Just, just nail me where that problem is for you personally. We're spending £6 million a day on these illegal immigrants. £3 billion a year. Yes, and what's the bit you're not allowed to say? Well, they're, coming, they're coming across... Yes. They're getting mobile phones. They're put into five-star hotels. Uh, well, let's look at that we, then. Let's look at the five-star. Should we look at the five-star hotel thing then? Were they in five stars? No, let's look stars, at that. Let's look stars. at that. Let's look, let's look at the five-star hotel. The illegal immigrants in five-star hotels. Where, where are they? And it, where? It, where no, no, let's go back again. Actually, where did you hear that? The news. You heard it on the news. Which news? Yes. Various outlets. Okay, and where are the hotels? You've got the one which is barricaded down. Um, is it in Plymouth? Mate, you don't barricade five-star hotels. They cost about 400 quid a night. What would all the other guests say? That but can't no, be a five-star hotel, the, can the, it? The government are booking up whole hotels. This is the thing. The barricaded yes, but they by the police to be, of yeah, But they cease to be hotels when they become asylum centres. They used to be exactly. hotels. It's just so a the, name that's given the, to a building. But I want to focus on the five-star bit. So can you, can you, can you name a five-star hotel? Where illegal um, immigrants are, are are accommodated? Yeah, let's have a, a look, shall we? Yeah. If that's the case. So, a news article here: thousands of asylum seekers and channel migrants are living in four and five star uh, luxury 
a British where, taxpayer's where, where, expense. Where, where's that? One of the ho- the four hotels used to be a house. Well, where is the article? This is on the Sun. And where? Just finish that sentence there. One of the ho- one of the hotels used to be. Uh, one of the high end. Uh, right in the top brackets, detonating plus and some high end resorts nationwide are blocked, booked for months. Yes. Um, home office officials are sitting. So the five star, the, the five star hotel we're looking for. So we've got a four star hotel, which is. And you think that that is still a four star hotel? That that is literally taking guests alongside a sign. No, because, no, no, because the so it's not a it's not, so it's not a four star hotel anymore. If you stayed there. You'd be sharing a room. You'd be told what meals you were having. You wouldn't have access to the facilities that were uh, put in place for guests because most of them would have been closed. It's a bit like, what's the nearest hotel to you? Where you are now, James, in Durham? What's it like? That's probably the Premier Inn is probably the closest. Okay. Well, I, I was in a Premier Inn at the weekend. So imagine that we took over that Premier Inn tonight and we turned all the rooms into dormitories. We put two sets of bunk beds in every room. We got rid of the menu and decided what we'd be serving up every morning and every evening. You'd have a very limited amount of um, uh, choice, if you like, to what food was available. You certainly wouldn't be able to avail yourself of, of the bar facilities or, or anything like that. But, but the building in which this was happening used to be the Premier Inn. We'd maybe even leave the sign outside that says Premier Inn, would you describe the people staying there in those bunk beds as staying in the Premier Inn? Yes. Oh, well, then, then you've got me bang to rights because it's no longer the Premier Inn, according to it, all, all of the definitions that gave it that title, in, in any way, in Inn exactly the, the same way. That, that, that building over there that was once a five-star hotel and is now an asylum centre is not a five-star hotel anymore. Do you see that? Well, okay, so... I- let me flip it around to you. So say you book every single room in the Premier Inn. Yeah. Just for you. Is it still a hotel? Yes. Exactly. So what's the difference from the government fully book, block booking a hotel and then the housing? Because the hotel that I'm staying in is the same as it was last year. It hasn't been turned into an asylum processing centre. We're, 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 we're going to run out of time. And the hotel you've just described costs £48 a night, I'm told. So it's, it's not it's exactly... It's probably a lot cheaper than what the government's paying. Yeah, maybe. So the question then becomes, if you know that the stuff about Sharia law was completely nonsense, you know that there is not a single asylum seeker in this country living in five-star luxury. They may be, they may be, although we failed to find a single one, they may be in a building that used to be a five-star hotel. And we know that um, uh, everything you've said about Muslims, essentially, or, 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 or Sharia... any... No... No, you're spinning that. I okay, right. Scratch I, that I, last bit then. Yeah. Just the stuff. Let's concentrate on the stuff about Sadiq Khan and Sharia law and um, nothing about Muslims and the nonsense about the five-star hotels. Can you tell me in a sentence or two why when you put the phone down, you're still going to believe what you believed when you rang in? Yes, because... You, you've seen it on the well. I suppose maybe being on on the on the left and in the media might not see it as much. But oh, we're talking well, about you. you. You're going because we've you, established two things you believe are not true, and now you're going to put the phone down no. and we're going to say goodbye. And you're still going to believe what you believed when you rang in. And I just want well, if you could help me out as someone on the left in the media who doesn't know what the real world is like. If you if you want to put it like that, that might be helpful. Why will you still believe the stuff that you now know isn't true? Because there's, there's still areas of the United Kingdom that even the police are, are scared to go to. What, um, what are those areas? It, it's, you've asked me in one sentence. Um, yeah, but just give me, give me a couple of examples of those areas. Oldham. The, the police are scared to go to Oldham. No, there's, there's, there's the streets in Oldham, there's streets in Bradford, there's streets in Birmingham that the police Why are, are scared they scared to go, to go there? Because they're outnumbered. By who? The people that live there. Who, well, <laughs> the, the police are outnumbered by the people who live everywhere, James. On your street, the police are outnumbered by the people who live there. So who do you mean when you say the police yeah, but, are outnumbered? But, uh, this, again, this who is, were they this outnumbered the by? The, 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 the foreigners that live there. The foreigners that live there? Yes. How do you know they're foreign? I mean, don't don't play that. You, you know they are. It's 
the, these areas where um, they've, they've been swamped. They're, they're not. They're not British anymore. They're not. They're, they don't follow the British values. And this is the thing. And we're back you, you to where we started. What were the British exactly. values that, that aren't being followed? And everything you said turned out to be false. But you're going to go away convinced that these tropes, these lies, these racist stereotypes are all true. But I've got to go they're, to the news. Not, not, Thank you. They're not stereotypes. No. They're all, yeah, you've got the proof that they're true, but it goes to a different school, right? Right.